You know, we call the play, same thing. You gonna, we gonna single up JT. Like, no offense to this cornerback, he about 5'7". It's gonna be that easy again. I guess y'all want me to do it this way. So they told us, um, you can get rim check. Coach told us, first touchdown of the season, go dunk it. I don't know why, the Alamo Dome goalposts are high. I don't know why, they are pretty high. When you see Carlos try to go dunk it, he got rim check. <laughs> Everybody laughing. But I'm just sitting in the pocket, I got flushed out, and I just see in the back of the end zone. I thought I'm gonna get tipped, honestly. Um, Carlos was gonna go catch it. And we just laughing because he got rim check. We like, bro, what do you do? He should have just finger rolled it or something. You knew he wasn't high enough. You know, and it took me two seasons, and I wouldn't, I didn't play to finally go out there and uh, throw a touchdown. So I definitely was excited. So we're in that number seven? I'm number seven. Oh man, that's my favorite one. Man, that was a crazy experience. I remember looking to the sideline. Um, we caught a play, I threw the ball. And it, it, you know, went to the ground, so we still had time left. And I looked, he called the play. I said, what is he calling? I said, bro, this is, I don't know why he called this play. So the play was uh, intended to catch the snap. Shout out to Maka, my center, with a bad snap. That's the best, that's made it good, though. Um, and fake the ball to Sincere, and it's a pop pass. Um, but as, as you can see, the, the ball on the ground, and Sincere, he almost kicks the ball, but he doesn't drag his foot all the way. So the play is screwed from Jump Street. I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I pick the ball up, I'm like, maybe I'll run it in. But then he come up to me, and I luckily see Oscar back in the end zone. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm scared, I want to overthrow him. And they got tips, and I can't make this up. The ball just hanging in the air. I'm like, Oscar, please catch it, please catch it. And Oscar's like this, boom. And then everybody just goes crazy, like, that was by far the craziest moment I have ever experienced. You just had to be there to really feel the electricity in. Like you got hurt people like D'Anthony, you hopping on the field, everybody running on the field, it was crazy. I mean, Oscar's legendary for that one. I mean, what are we, like, are you gonna try a single JT? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm literally sitting there like, are you being so for real right now? Like, JT, like, 6'3", 220. No offense to the cornerback. He was maybe 5'9". I said, are you really finna man him up? Like, this is crazy. One of my best friends, his little brother, like my little brother, he plays at Army. So we were talking mess about this game for a while. And he even told me, like, after the game, like, I already knew he was finna go to him. I'm like, why would I not go to him? Like, he's pressed up. They off over there to Z. You just throw it up, JT. You can jump the highest, like, ever. And you gonna press him up? I said, to win the game, we gonna do it like this? All right, watch this. <laughs> Whoa, he caught it. And then you can see everybody reaction, like, we ain't think, like, we won. We like, oh, we just won. Like, we go back and look, like, everybody on the field, like, oh, we just won the game. People don't realize, so we, we finna get on a flight to, to Army, it get delayed. Come back to the meeting, get delayed. Come back to the meeting, it get delayed another, like, three hours. I'm like, what is going, so now everybody fed up. Like, we just need to postpone the game to another time because now we mad. Like, we don't even want to play football. We get there, we get there so late, we don't get to do nothing that we usually do. Like, we don't have our, our walkthrough, we don't have, uh, we don't go to the field like we usually do. We get there so late, literally ate and went to bed, but we play early the next morning. We had to do everything that we didn't do that day the next morning. Then we get there, they got us standing in some little, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's probably one of the worst locker rooms I've ever seen. It is hot, small as I don't know what. I don't even have my own locker, like it's bad. We had no sleep. It was just a crazy experience. <laughs> and then we finally ended up pulling it off. It was a crazy time. Man. Harris off the fake, makes a move. Inside the 10, leaps over a defender, gets to the corner, into the end zone. Yeah, so this play right here was, it was designed like an RPO. I sent him in motion. If I pull it, I can throw it to JT. I pulled it and he ran with him. So I'm like, I'm kind of screwed. So I cut back and I was like, oh, it's open. And then I just seen dude go low. I don't even like jumping over people for real. I did it in high school a lot, but I don't like in tackle low either. So I see them go low to lunge at me. Instinctually, I just jumped. I didn't think it was that big of a deal if I'm being honest. I'm not even trying to be humble. I just, I mean, but you go to the sideline, my teammates are like, boosting me up like I just did like a Jordan free throw line dunk or something. <laughs> it was pretty cool though, but yeah, that's what happened with that play. Harris has time down the middle. Oh, catch! Oscar Cardenas! They snap it with 22. Harris, hey, hands on! Touchdown! Clark! 
if y'all don't know, when in doubt, Oscar gonna get the ball. Like, you can ask any receiver. I'm gonna find a way to get Oscar the ball. If you go back and look at the play, it was a break corner and a skip flat, and then we had a middle read. The middle field is open, Oscar will take the middle. If not, you know, he'll, he'll go across. You can't see it, but Zakari is open. But my whole mind, like, I'm throwing it to Oscar. Oscar gonna get the ball. I seen a Mike linebacker carrying him. I'm just gonna put it on top of his head. And he caught it like this, and then hurt him. I'm like, oh my God. But I'm like, we can't freak out. We gotta go, we gotta go. I look at the sideline, you know, we call the play. Same thing. You gonna, we gonna single up JT. Like, no offense to this cornerback, he about 5'7". It's gonna be that easy again? I guess y'all want me to do it this way. I literally said, one, that play is messed up. Severs is not supposed to be over there to the boundary. Severs is supposed to be to the field. But I'm like, I don't even, it don't even matter. Nobody, nobody getting the ball besides JT. So as long as JT lined up, he getting the ball. So I'm like going, to, like, hey, hurry up, hurry up. I'm gonna call him to play like, I catch it. <laughs> I throw it up like I always do to JT. He caught it. I'm like, man, just went crazy. It was a crazy time. Josh could have screwed that whole play up. Oh, he did, but it didn't matter. <laughs> 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 we go watch Phil the next day. And coach is like, y'all got it done, but Stevens, you know you put, yeah, I know. I'm like, yeah, I knew something looked weird, but you weren't getting the ball no way, so it's good. So if you watch it, like if you watch it again, Stevens don't know what to do because he don't know what route to run because he's not supposed to be on that side. He, that is a complete, like, what is that? That is not the route he's supposed to run. He's like, bro, it was just so crazy. I just needed to line up real quick. <laughs> I knew I wasn't getting the ball anyways. I said, well, yeah, you're right. So that's, that's good. It all worked out. It's good. Here we go.